Hello and welcome to WCTV. This is Reclaim the Confident You. Great to see you today. I am Michelle Merricks and I am a mindset and confidence coach and the CEO and founder of the Mindful Her Woman and also the creator of the Mindful Her Woman program. Today I have something a little different for you and in remembrance, first of all, of Suzanne Summer, she was such a pioneer on this subject. And I also wanted to bring this in because it's trick or treat week. But as far as Suzanne, Suzanne Summers goes, I thought that she was such a wonderful person. She was pioneering in women's health to cut out your sugar, how to eat. Everything that she provided was wonderful for years for women. And being the mindful woman, what the mindful woman is, is one thing she definitely marks about herself or watches about herself is her health. So today I have brought in Karen Ackerman and we actually did a recording and this was a Zoom recording. We did it very early in the morning to bring to you and we're going to play that for you today. But this is to with trick or treat coming up, watch how much sugar that you have. And also I want to mention October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So ladies, if you have not made your doctor appointment, please do so. If you are behind on that doctor appointment, please be very, very mindful about your health and make that appointment for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Karen Ackerman is a health coach who I have brought in to talk to us about three different things today. And that is to cut out our sugar, uh, also to lose weight and help in the signs of reversing aging. So Karen is a health coach who talks about all of that with us and we will let that tape roll. And I thank you very much. And you'll also see on the video, how to reach me as the mindful her coach. Here's Karen and I appreciate you being with us today. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's so great to see you today. Again, as you know, I'm Michelle Merricks with Reclaim the Confident You. And as a mindset and confidence coach, if there's something that I love, it's to bring you anything to be extremely mindful over and to gain your confidence. As you know, as we talk about every area in life, health is so important. So everyone, I would like for you to meet Karen Ackerman. Karen, thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you, Michelle. It's my honor to be here. I, oh. I'm super excited about this. So great to have you. I want to introduce Karen and let you know her background. So Karen is a licensed RTT rapid transformational therapy practitioner and also a clinical hypnotherapist. So what she is, is she helps women as a mindset master health coach, and she helps you rid the sugar cravings, overcome the menopause weight gain and reverse aging. So we all want to know about that, don't we? She yes. addresses three key pillars, don't you, Karen, which I love <laughs> these. So today, Karen, let's talk about, we have written down for us to discuss about sugar. And you say there's two sides to sugar addiction. Is that correct? That is correct, Michelle. And yes, I love this subject <laughs> because nobody really understands the true effect sugar has on the mind and the body. So I want to talk about the physical side first. Can we go with that? Okay. Yes, we can. Awesome. So we do have physical effects of sugar and it changes at a chemical level in our brain and our body. So when we intake sugar, it affects our the release of dopamine in the brain, which is our feel good chemicals, right? right. Mm -hmm. So, or the feel good hormones. And so it also though suppresses our serotonin, which is created in our intestinal tract, which can lead to depression, yes. and anxiety. Yes. So there are two sides, there's a mental and a physical. And we, um, we just need to understand that these two differences or these two sides need to be addressed as a whole body instead of just trying to fix the physical side of it. This is why dieting does not work. I completely so, agree. 100% agree. Please yeah. tell us more. Okay. So we have to think about our ancestors as well, because our ancestors were hardwired 
and our brains have not changed at all, hardwired to seek out sugary, sweet berries because it helped them put on weight for lean times. The number one killer was starvation. Now we don't have that. We don't have to worry about starving. We have vending machines around every corner in every office. And so it is really a hard thing when we have these vending machines, food everywhere, because we're already hardwired. We're designed to take this in, to pack on the weight. And our, our minds, our mindset is simply a belief system. It's our thoughts, our feelings, and our behaviors that we were raised with. So the, the other half of that is going to be mindset. Absolutely. And, mm -hmm. and you know all about mindset, Michelle. This is your specialty too. So I think this is why you and I, we connect so deeply on this level because it's just so important for us women to realize that mindset has to be changed. It's a simple set of beliefs we're yes. raised with, we live our lives according to. And if we believe losing weight is hard, we can't overcome our sugar addictions, then it makes it pretty difficult for us to actually achieve what we truly want to achieve. So I, I absolutely agree with that. And there's a difference, as you say, between willpower and mm -hmm. actually your mindset. If you yeah. don't have that, that correct mindset, the, the weight willpower will only last so long. I completely agree with that. Yes. And yeah. it, it's about us ladies being very mindful of every category, but about this health and sugar addiction. I'm a person who's been sugar addicted for years and you helped me with that. And I instantly felt I felt better within four days, literally, because my body would ache at this age and the ache went away. Yes, it, it's, it's amazing. It amazing. really, it, sugar just really is a toxin. It's a toxin to our body. And so we have to think about this as, in the mindset aspect as well when we're dealing with the mind, because every time we take in sugar, it's releasing that dopamine hit. When order to go back and get that original dopamine hit that we want, we need more and more sugar. And it's highly addictive. It, we know now it's as addictive as cocaine. So yes. it's changing the chemical makeup in our brain. And this is where my specialty is, is because I actually use hypnotherapy to get to the root cause of these sugar addictions. Sugar is not we use it as a feel good, right? Yes. We think we need it, but in fact, we're only using it to fulfill a void. Well, People I don't, don't realize that. They eat donuts or yucky food and lots of carbohydrates, which mm -hmm. turn to sugar, right? Yeah. Karen, and yeah. they turn to sugar. I feel awful. I feel very tired. I'm fatigued. I, I'm, I'm all of it. And um, I just feel like a slug. <laughs> so yeah, totally understand that. And with that sugar addiction, what happens? We gain weight, right? Yes. 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 Especially middle age. Middle oh. age. Let's talk yeah. about that understanding that menopausal weight gain. Ah, oh, this is such a hot topic. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. And, Especially uh, women yeah. our age. I mean, it's, it's a huge yeah. topic. <laughs> it is. It is. And it's, it's so frustrating, right? It's so frustrating. You know, I went through menopause. And I gained 30 pounds before I actually understood what my mind and body were doing. Right. And I, a lot of women say they have more sugar cravings at this time. But, you know, menopause is a natural, it's just a natural thing that we go through. It's, right. We're transitioning from childbearing age to non-parent childbearing age. And so there's a fluctuation in our hormones. But when we have that fluctuation, what most women don't realize is it's opening up all these toxins, releasing toxins when our hormones fluctuate so much. So all the food, all the toxins we've taken in, whether it's, you know, internally or externally, we absorb, then those toxins, our body has to um, create fat and store and, you know, surround them. So Correct. when those fluctuations come, it's releasing all these toxins. And what happens is they start settling in parts of our body because our body's trying to protect itself. It's wrapping more fat around that and storing in places we've never had our face. And we, our we don't want that. Belly, <laughs> and we don't like that at all. No we don't, woman. 
that. We don't like that at all. Uh, explain no. when this weight gain happens and we're going through this, you know, this phase of life. Tell us about some of the pain points that a woman goes through. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, one of the number one things that I see is it destroys their confidence. Yeah. It really destroys our confidence. It did mine. And it's done that to every woman I've ever worked yes. with, which is yeah. lots of women. And, you know, our our joints hurt. We get foggy brain. We have memory yeah. loss. Um, we just, we feel bad. It destroys relationships because we stop doing those things that we normally love to do. And yeah. so it can really put a halt on that because of the way we simply feel about us. The struggle is real. That struggle, struggle is very, very real. Yeah, yes. it is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, it's so hard. So yes, I and know, women need hard. to understand. They they need to understand. You're not alone. That's for you're sure. Not you're, not no, you're not alone. You're not alone. No, right. And you know, I the other thing is, women really feel like their metabolism is broken. Their metabolism is not broken. There's just a change going on. There's physical and chemical changes going on, and there's definitely ways of helping yourself naturally balance those hormones again start dropping that weight again and actually reversing the aging process. So that's why I'm so passionate about this is because I've experienced all these things. I understand what it's like to lose your confidence and to literally stop doing the things you love to do. And yes. so yes, none of us deserve that. We deserve better than that. We do. We absolutely deserve so much more. And yeah. I was so glad when you and I linked together <laughs> Yeah. Um, you know, as you remember, and I was like, okay, Karen, and then, you know, I was asking you questions. Now, what do I do? What now? What do I do? So yeah. what happened for me was I was actually coached by Karen. And um, it was six weeks, I had lost 13 pounds. Yeah. And it was the great part is it was that I was learning to eat better, more plant based foods. Um, I had been through that before, you know, I've done the, the keto and all that kind of thing. But for me at this age, I'm 54. And for me at this age, it's about my health. It's yeah. absolutely about my health. So the benefit also that I feel when we get rid of that sugar, like you're talking about, right, that addiction, we get rid of that. And yeah that weight gain. And then we start to feel better about ourselves and on different levels, because, you know, as you were teaching me, it was on different levels. I wasn't aching anymore. Oh my yeah. gosh. I could, you know, I, I had like in my hips where I was aching and I was like, Oh, this is just miserable every day, you know, and then you're trying to live off of ibuprofen. Yeah. And, and that, that was the very first thing that went away and the weight started to drop and here was the great part because we talk about the protein. It takes care of hunger, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. And we don't, I don't teach diets. We don't know. No, there's it no was diet. Not a diet. Not it's a diet. not a diet program at all. So if you're looking for a diet program, I'm not your girl. Right. But if you're right. looking for a life change, a true life change for the three key pillars, will all, it will absolutely transform your life. Yes. So it quickly. And what I'd love to talk about next is I love that you teach us is how to reverse the aging because that yeah. really goes to a cellular level. Tell us more about that. Yeah. So we all love to reverse aging, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, yes. And what we really need to understand too is how sugar affects the aging process. So there, it's kind of a twofold here because sugar actually attaches to our amino acids. And our amino acids support the collagen and elastin in our skin. And so when it attaches, it actually causes advanced glycation or sagging of the skin. So the more sugar you're taking in, the more rapid you are aging internally and externally. It really ages the that. cells <laughs> in the body. I yeah. know it's, it's actually. I don't it's, want to do that. No, <laughs> none of us want to do that. We no, and, and again, I don't believe, I truly don't believe in dieting. I dieted my whole life. That's for another right. time. But um, when I actually stopped dieting, that's when my weight started coming off. When I started getting in tune with myself and understanding how sugar was affecting me on these three levels, then my life really started transforming. And so we have to just understand like the more sugar you take in, the quicker you're going to age. If you want really nice looking skin, if you want to feel 
healthier, more energy, we have to get the sugar out of your diet. Not all of it. I believe in 80-20 or 90-10 rule. And that's what I live by. And that's what I teach my clients. So you can have your sweets once in a while. We don't yeah. have to live without, you know, those things. We can go to parties. We can enjoy ourselves. But there has to be a balance there. Yes. And I, I do like that. I really. I remember one evening we were talking, you said, oh no, I'm going for my margarita tonight because we're going to the Mexican restaurant. And that's the glory. You, Yeah. Isn't that the glory? You just need to yeah. know your, um, you know, you need, well, and it's something that I teach, of course, uh, is your boundaries and yeah. knowing those boundaries and what to eat, what not to eat, you know, when to have something really good and yeah. when to say, no, I had something, you know, kind of bad a few days ago and, and not to do that. I thought that it was great. I want to talk real quick about your program that you offered. So Karen mm -hmm. offers a program and it's called Unlocking the Mindful Radiant You. Yeah. And can you tell more about uh, about that program? It's about ridding the sugar, et cetera, what yep. we just discussed. Yeah. So it's the three main pillars that we talked about. It's about actually figuring out what is the root cause? Why are you consuming all this sugar? Why do you have those cravings? And then at, once we figure out what's actually causing them, which we're lacking something, there's something internally in us that we're lacking. We find the root cause of that. We get rid of that root cause. And then we go on and we start working on menopause. We start overcoming the menopausal weight gain. And we start balancing the sugar intakes, yeah. understanding more about menopause. And then we go on to reverse aging and we use this all through hypnotherapy. But rapid transformational therapy is what I do. And it's different than just hypnotherapy because we use um, all the different uh, hypnotherapy techniques, but also the different talk therapy techniques. So it's a combination of the two. So we're doing hypnotherapy and talk therapy to actually get to the root cause and create the life by rewiring those old beliefs into new beliefs of what you actually want at that subconscious level. And that is transformational. Absolutely. And that's what we want to be. We want to be the transformed yes. woman, right? Yes. Yep. We so want to balance. We need the balance. We need balance. The balance. Yeah. Once we start balancing, it is really amazing. But our stress levels come down. The weight can easily start coming off. We feel better. The joint pain goes away foggy brain goes away. It's just, it's yeah. incredible. You really do feel like a new radiant woman. You really do. I mean, yeah. to rid that sugar and, and it's all about just understanding and that, you know, that's definitely why, you know, with the mindful, her woman, that's who we are. We want to understand who we are, our bodies, what phase are we going to go through? Yeah. And our health is just so, so important because what's the number one thing? If you don't have your health, you don't have anything, right? That's exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. And we, def we definitely have to have our health. Is yeah. there anything else you'd like to add with us today, Karen, that you can think of in any of these three pillars that you have? Well, I think that we have covered quickly. Quickly. We'll do this yes, again quickly. sometime soon. And we, yeah, um, we will have Karen. I'll have Karen yeah. on again because, you know, you can't get everything in. Right. And it's definitely a series of knowing about your health, understanding about your health. Yeah. Um, and for those who really want to, do something about their health. You know, those yeah. who, who are very serious about it and who say, I'm ready to take action. Uh, yeah. I am of course a fan of your program. Definitely you. of your program. It's life-changing to me. It was very life-changing. And to all the women, all the women yeah. I have had have the anxiety levels go down, the weight starts coming off. Um, it's just, it honestly is amazing. And you just feel so good about you again. And yes. that's what I want. I want you to actually be who you're designed to be. Yes. And when we're locked down with all this garbage. Yes. The stress. You just can't shine. Right. Yeah. The stress is so much more. And it, it's so true. You are what you eat. It, it's so true. You you it definitely is, are what you eat. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I appreciate you being here so much, Karen, taking Thank the time you. this morning. It's so great to see you and visit with you. And I always love your expertise. Thank and you I, so much. I definitely want to let our audience know in order to reach Karen, and we're actually going to put this on the screen for you, but she is on Facebook 
under Karen.Akerman, that's A-C-K-E-R-M-A-N dot five. And you can also reach her at KarenAkerman.com. And again, we'll be showing this on the screen for you. Karen, I appreciate you so much for coming on. Like I said, it's so, so great to see you. And I appreciate everything that you've shared with us completely. Is there something that our ladies out there can start today? It's in the morning. What can one tip that they can start today to get going? Yes, absolutely. So we want to, I'm going to give you a tip today about aging. So Yay. we can do something that you yeah, have, right? That's what we love to do. Right. Um, neuro robotics. It's called neuro robotics. It's the simplest thing in the world to do because our brain loves activity. And when we give our brains activities to do new activities, it creates new neural pathways in the brain. Yes. So brush your teeth with the opposite hand. Wow. Start doing that. Yeah. It's okay. I'm going to have to do that when we're done. Okay. Awesome. And then <laughs> another tip you can do when you're walking down the steps, pay attention what foot you lead with. And the next time you go down or up, lead with the other one. It will feel so weird. <laughs> right. But, but it's exciting to our brain because it has to actually think about what it's doing. It's not, you know, we get up, we get dressed every day the same way we do the same routines every day our brain is on autopilot. So we have to stimulate the brain in order to reverse aging. So those are two things Very that you can do. Good. That's so interesting. That's yeah. so interesting. Let's hope I don't fall down the stairs today. I always go down with my right foot. I always go down with my right foot. <laughs> Hold That's on. very good because the brain is then learning something different. Like you said, yeah. the brain is learning something different. Yeah, absolutely. You just got to think about like Wonderful. children that always need to be doing something. They go from one thing to the next thing, the next thing. That's what we need to be doing is actually trying new things, trying new things and stimulating that brain to actually work for us. Then we're not stagnant. We're not sitting not stagnant. stagnant. We want to no. stay on the move. We're women on the move, right? We are women on the move. Absolutely. Women on the move. We Karen, the thank done. you again <laughs> so much. I so appreciate you again. You can reach Karen on Facebook at karen.ackerman.5 and you can also reach out to her on her website at karenackerman.com. Karen, I Thank look you, so Michelle. forward to having you back. This has been Thank a you. great interview and I just love you and you know that I do. I, I love you too. Thank you Thank so you much. For, I appreciate it. Thank you for all my health tips. You are so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome. Lots more where that came from. That'll be great. Karen, yep. until we have you on again, I cannot wait to see you and I hope that you have a wonderful day and stay healthy, right? Thank you. You too. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks, Karen. Bye-bye. WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.